Hi, everybody. I am so glad to be at WLJC. And I want to tell you, if you are not a regular listener, please turn your television to this station and just leave it there. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. But get, make sure that you call your friends, your neighbors. Who knows what you can't get them to do Maybe they can listen and they'll learn what God can do for them just by listening to this station. Thank you. This station's been on for 48 years and 31 with the television, and it's going to keep on going with your prayers and gifts. God bless you. WLJC welcomes you to have church with us for the next 90 minutes during the Hour of Harvest. Call in your prayer request or praise report now. The WLJC prayer team is standing by to talk and pray with you. We have some very special musical guests here this evening to share in song the good news of the gospel. So sit back, relax, sing along, and join in with us as we pray for you and the needs of all our viewing audience. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. Live from our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight from our WLJC studios in Beattyville, Kentucky. We really welcome each of you and trust that you'll be able to stay with us now for the next one hour and a half because we have a, a good group of singers. Dottie has phone operators and we're going to do our best in the best way we know how to, is to lift up the name of Jesus tonight. And uh, so we always remember that there's some people tonight, today that was too sick to read their Bible or, or for whatever reason they did not do it. And so that's why we always like to do it. And you know this time of the year where uh, everyone is all um, in, a, in a hurry, in a... a thinking about Christmas and about getting everybody gifts and so forth. And we have so much uh, let commercialism come in to where we've really forgotten what the real Christmas is about and what it cost him. You know, we say salvation is free. It is because of what Jesus did for us. And, you know, I wanted to read this scripture tonight to let you know how much it cost him. So I want you to pay attention to this, and if you've got it marked in your Bible, you can read it later yourself. But what it cost Jesus to make salvation free for us. Now, this is a prophecy that was given in Isaiah about uh, what, what it was going to be for Jesus to come into this earth. Isaiah 53 and this is foretelling about Jesus coming and, uh, and what, what was going to happen. It says, Who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of dry ground. He shall have no form or comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected a man, a man of sorrow, and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our grief and carried our sorrows. Yet we did not esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He, hath, he was oppressed, he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as sheep before his shears is dumb. So he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare this generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgressions of the people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because 
he has uh, done uh, no violence, neither was there any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief when, uh, when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed. He shall uh, prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied by his knowledge. Uh, shall his righteousness servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I uh, divide him a portion with the, the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bore the sins of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. This is Isaiah 53, we've just read, talking about how Jesus, uh, even though he had never sinned, yet he was treated. He took our sins on himself, and he, he went through all that. And if you go back and study, we just read it uh, kind of quickly here, but you go back and study this, and it makes you have a different opinion of uh, how when we say salvation is free, it wasn't free to the Lord Jesus because he gave all. He suffered. He was despised. He was abused. He was mistreated. He was everything. And finally, he was crucified. But it was for us that he did that. So when you think about salvation, uh, it's not like uh, some of these um, things that you hear, oh, it, it's free. It was a, the most costly thing that you'll ever hear or read about. And that was what the Lord Jesus did for us. And we trust that tonight, if you have never accepted what he did, the sacrifices that he made to make heaven possible for us to go there, then we, uh, we trust that you'll make it even tonight. This would be a wonderful time. Uh, since we're going to be celebrating his, his, the birth of the Lord Jesus, when he came to this earth, well, then what a wonderful time to give our hearts to him. And that's what he wants is for us to accept what he did for us. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the sacrifices that Jesus made for us. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because that you have made salvation free to us we could not have ever bought it but you have made you have provided for us and you have made it plain to where that we can accept you and to be free of our sins and be in heaven with you so tonight father we ask you to speak to the hearts of those that need to accept you and help them to know what a privilege it is that they can do this it's not a chore, but it's such a wonderful privilege. And Father, for those that are discouraged, those that are uh, suffering from, because of sin in their lives, help them to realize that you have already paid for all of this and we don't have to go through this. We don't have to be ruled by the devil because that you have provided a better life for us. So give us victory, give us souls tonight, Father. Bless our singers and anoint them and the phone operators, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, tonight we're happy to have some folk that's been coming for a while, and these are the Tones of Faith from Oil Springs, Kentucky. They have completed a new CD since they've been here, and their phone number is 606-297-5407. Uh, if you want to order their CD, that's where to call. Now, we want to welcome right now Tones of Faith from All Springs, Kentucky. Beaten and 
talking about the weather there. I think the first time or two we come down here it snowed. Mm -hmm. it, it was bad road but thankfully tonight we don't have that and we're just tickled to death to be here. I uh, want to send this out to all the the uh, ones that support this little group here. Uh, we've got a lot of good family and friends out there that, that stick behind us and got family that travels with us and uh, we're just tickled to death. Want to say Merry Christmas to everybody and uh, we hope we can do something here tonight that uh, that'll touch somebody's heart. When I see the sunrise in the morning, when I feel the wind blow across my face, when I Oh, 
I'd like to send this program out to all my family, and I know I got some a mother-in-law and a father-in-law at home watching, and Buster and Marcella. And there's another man he usually watches, but I don't know if he will get to watch this time or not because he's in the hospital. But James Dameron, if you're watching, all these songs are for you, and I hope that you get to feeling better, buddy. You know, I was contemplating on whether I need to say this or not, but I guess I do. So, um, me and my husband, we go to the nursing home every uh, second Wednesday of the month. And there's a woman there, and her name is Jessie. And she has Parkinson's disease, and she shakes really, really bad. And um, most of the time, she can't hardly eat because she shakes so bad she can't keep the food in her mouth. And um, every time that we go in there, she's always telling us how thankful she is that somebody come and seen her that day or you know she's telling us uh, all how good she's been that day or what good happened to her and and every time we go in there she'll tell you something about what God did for her and I said um, it's amazing to me that somebody that's in that much pain can lay there and still be thankful and you never hear nothing bad or never hear a complaint or anything come out of her mouth and I, I just think it's so amazing because every day of our life we walk around and we have nothing in this world to even, to even think about complaining about. But we complain about the most 
craziest things about how the weather is bad or how we don't feel good that day or we didn't want to do that or that's just that ain't what kind of food I want it to eat or you know and you should be thankful for that food because there's a lot of people and especially around Christmas that don't have food and you got all this amount of food that you can lay on your table and you know probably feed 15 families and throw away half of it to your dogs or your animals I'm, and people out there are just wanting the crumb that fell off that table and so my point being is you have nothing in this world to complain about and Jesse can lay there in that bed and she can say it's getting sweeter every time because I know that I'm going to get to heaven sooner or later Amen. each day is a little step closer and so if you're saved today, the song that we're getting ready to sing is called Welcome Home. And if you're saved one of these days when you pass away, you're going to hear Jesus look at you and say, Welcome Home. Amen. Amen. There's a day just out in front of us, I know surely come, if that history We'll open wide, revealing God's dear Son. And I know from here to heaven, it's but a twinkling of an eye. But in the midst of all His glory, comes the sweet earth. that's ever gave their life to the Lord will uh, understand 
this song that I want to send to my home church of New Salem over in Morgan County, Kentucky. Um, it's called My Best Friend.
got this little mantlin. My brother made me this mantlin, and <clears throat> last time that, uh, well, just before I got it, he That's said, "Now I'm gonna, when you come and get this, you've got to play this on the TV <laughs> station down there." And uh, I've not got all the kinks worked out, but I, I really love my brother. It doesn't matter about this instrument. It doesn't matter about a lot of things in this life. It matters about Jesus. He's the only thing that matters. And he will be the only thing that will matter when he comes down to dying. Uh, I'll introduce this rough-looking outfit here. Over here on the far side is Brother Mike Smith from Oil Springs. And uh, this is uh, Courtney Hayton. This is Barbara Scott. This is Mike Ferguson. And behind me is the most nervous man to ever walk the face <laughs> of this earth. His brother Rob McIntosh. And I told him, I said, I said back there a while ago, I said, he'd really be excited if I, I said, Rob, you got a testimony, but we're not going to put him through a lot tonight, but because uh, his, his hair and his face will turn red. But uh, we thank God for him. Uh, when he come to us, uh, Courtney knew him real well, and she said, now he is a saved young man, and he wants to work for the Lord. And it uh, seemed like it just, he just, everything just fell in place. And when God puts something together, it does just fall in place. Mm -hmm. You can go out and hand pick them, and it, most of the time it just won't work. Let God do the work, and it'll work. It'll come out just exactly the way it's supposed to. But uh, I really want to thank my brother. His, uh, his name's Curtis Scott. He lives down in Lancaster. And uh, I want to thank his wife for putting up with him for when he was making this because he said this was the hardest thing that he ever made. But uh, I thank God for my family. My mommy, she's, uh, she's probably watching tonight. If not, she's listening. And I've got an Aunt Walita Ward that I love with all my heart. There's a list of people who could go on and on and on and on. But uh, we thank the churches that invite us in and trust us to come with a clean heart and ready to have church. Uh, we were in great meeting last weekend with a, at a church called Half Mountain over McGoffin County, and we want to say hello to them. Uh, seem like I can uh, I can go into a service station early of a morning, it don't matter anywhere in this area, and they said, well, I saw you on TV. I saw you on WLJC. I saw you here. I saw you in this church. But thank God for his son. And this is the, this is the, should be the most important season of the year for everybody. Jesus was, was born, and there was a reason that he was born, and that was to save the world, a lost and dying world. And, uh, but we just thank you. We're not going to do a lot of talking tonight. We're going to uh, get right into it and uh, hope you enjoy what we're doing. Uh, some of us had cold, some of us had a, maybe had a touch of flu. I've had a, a bout with both and a, a bad back at the same time. And when you got a bad back and you have to cough, it's really not comfortable. <laughs> but uh, thank God for, for this station. Thank God for Sister Margaret. But uh, I introduced this group here to you, and I say this in about every church we go to. It doesn't matter if you've never met us or if you've ever heard tell of us. You wouldn't have missed out on a thing. But you leave this world and don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you would have been better off if you'd never been born. He is, you have missed everything if you miss him. Uh, but just keep on praying for us and, and uh, hope we've sing something that you like. If you got a, uh, probably before we, before we quit, we'll try to play one. But, uh, just keep keep us in your prayers, and, and we love everybody. And I think I've even got people up in Ohio watching on by, by Internet. But uh, if I do, and you don't know the Lord, right now would be a good time to get to know him. Amen. I'm going to try to sing you one here. I better, I better sing it because uh, this is about the only song they let me sing. <laughs> but no, I, we, I've got family at home watching tonight, my mother and my sister and uh, hopefully my children and, and just a whole lot of different ones. Got two cousins up in Pike County. I better not forget them. I'm going to send this song out to them. Uh, you know, this song is, uh, uh, it, it's called Angels Calling at My Door. And I say this a lot. Uh, if you've ever had the privilege to sit by the bedside of a saint of God that's getting ready to go home, I believe you've been in the presence of these unseen angels I'm going to sing about. Um. 
I better send this out to my Aunt Becky, too. Lord, she, last time she said, I was watching on that internet, and you never said my name not once. <laughs> and I got tired, I got real in trouble for that. So, Aunt Becky, I love you, and I hope that you're doing good. <laughs> but uh, this is for you. I love you. I can't be here any longer I can't hang around no more You don't need what I am Angels call Don't you grieve for me no longer Memories will keep our score Let me go while I'm your hero Angels call On the far side banks of glory Where the rich shall meet the poor There I'll be waiting for you Angels call Can't you hear that gentle knocking? This time's louder than before. Hold me close, no more talking. Angels call.
And the road is rough and rough. Sometimes my feet get weary and so so. from the telephone uh, calls. We know you are enjoying this group. Edith uh, from Corbin wanted uh, to hear the song Angels at My Door. And there's another one for the same song. And lady said this is her favorite group. And an another lady from Estill County said uh, it was a real good group. And so uh, they are, folk are appreciating them. We're going to give them a chance to get a drink of water and and uh, take a little break. They'll be right back. Tones of Faith from Oil Springs, Kentucky. They do have a new CD that uh, has recently been made. And to order it, call 606-297-5407. All right, we have a number of prayer requests in. And this one is um, a Pam out of the Praise Singers that was here recently. She's had a heart attack, and she, uh, she had open-heart surgery, and, but she has come through fine today. And so that's uh, Pam out of the Praise Singers from Irvin. And so uh, we're happy that she is doing well. A grandson that, uh, from Harlan County that was born too early, he's in the hospital in Tennessee having breathing problems and pray for the uh, child's family. Ricky from um, Clark County is in the hospital with a heart attack right now. Uh, from Clay County, Jesse has gotten a lot of pains in his feet and legs. And this one is uh, also from Winchester for someone that's had a heart attack. So uh, this, is a, um, this is a time that so, many, so much sickness and so much is going on that uh, 
uh, it's just a good time to be all prayed up and ready to pray for yourself and someone else. And uh, so we we know that you are enjoying the singing. So uh, we uh, we want to. Uh, they brought several family members with them tonight. And there's one nice lady that I talked to, the mother of one of the singers, and I'm. I've been trying to get her up here to just say hello. So do you think you you think you could get her? Uh, she's a pretty lady, and she needs to come up and just say hi. <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, tell her, get her to come on up and just say, she can just say hi. Over, over there by you, and you can just, uh, you can stand there by your son for a minute, and uh, uh, she's uh, been... She's been watching for a long time. She told me she felt like she knew me, but uh, I'd never met her before, but she's a real nice uh, lady, and she's the mother of one of the singers, and so uh, uh, she can stand over there by her son, and uh, uh, so she, and she's got a lot of friends watching tonight. All right, somebody introduce her there. Been a come down here several times, and uh, the opportunity arose tonight to bring a lady that's been in my life, uh, all my life, <laughs> my mother. And uh, I let her uh, say hello to whoever she wants to. Well, hello to everyone, and especially my home church, New Salem. I'm yeah. proud of them, and, and always proud to go. I don't think they'd want to hear me. <laughs> but I appreciate this. Thank you.
don't do a lot of Christmas songs, but uh, we're going to try to sing you a couple tonight. <laughs> We'd like to send out. Uh, there's a gentleman we met a couple years ago. When he was pastoring a church, and then he had to give that up because he got cancer. And uh, now he just goes around to different churches and he preaches. His name is Wendell Ison. We heard this was one of his favorite songs, and he's been really sick. 
He had to go in for some heart issues a couple of weeks ago, and he's still recovering on those. So, Wendell, if you're listening tonight, we'd like to send this song out to you and your family. We love you. Lord, I know when you save me, you fill me with your spirit. try this song I'm not a singer but there's this young lady that came into my office Friday and she said I know you're gonna be on TV Friday, uh, Saturday night and I expect you to sing my song and I've never sung this song but one time but I'm gonna give it a try Miss Judy Woods so I hope you're listening <clears throat>
song. It's been a while back, um, but uh, it's probably been about two years ago. And um, I watched a movie. I don't know if any of you have seen it or not, but it's called Letters to God, and it's about a little boy that has cancer. And each day he writes a letter to God and puts it in his mailbox, and he's hoping that the postman will come by and pick it up, and he's thinking that that will get it to heaven. And at the end of that uh, movie, there was a verse there, and um, it caught my attention, and I thought, well, you know, I never thought of it that way. And, and I started thinking about it, and I read that verse I don't know how many times, and it, nothing ever come to me, and then all of a sudden it was out of nowhere. I was sitting in church, and I was just sitting there, and I think my husband was preaching. And all of a sudden it was just like all these words just is just kept coming, kept coming. And I thought, well, i got to have a pencil or something. I can't remember all this stuff. And so I didn't have a pencil or a pen, I don't think, and I got my phone and I started typing. And I know it's bad and don't be getting your phones out in church now, but... Um, I got it out, and I had to type it in there so I could remember it, and uh, it ended up, this is what it was, but the verse was uh, 2 Corinthians 3.3, 3, and it says, For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistles, meaning letters of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshly tables of the heart. And um, I'd like to send this out to my granny. Uh, I didn't mention her earlier, but um, I love you, Granny, and her name's Jewel Sturgill, and I love you, and I hope that you like this song.
In the last ray of sunshine, in my life is fading, and the time to cross Jordan is near. Tell me somebody waiting to carry me over when I say. There's a place of sweet peace and rest where I'll go to live with all the blessed when my feet down here is all through. There I'll see all my friends gone on and join them in a brand new song. My hope is I can see
you've been listening to the uh, singing of the Tones of Faith from All Springs, Kentucky. They do have a brand new CD. If you haven't uh, uh, seen them to buy that lately, well, be sure and call them and uh, get one. Their phone number is 606-297-5407 and uh, they'll be glad to hear from you and also tell you about their CD and and everything so uh well we we appreciate them uh coming tonight appreciate the the weather uh being good tonight and uh, no snow or rain and we know that uh, everyone's getting excited about uh, all the christmas activities and all your dinners that you're going to fix and all the christmas plays and everything and i do hope you if you have a home church and able to get up and go and enjoy uh, the services from your church because I don't think there's anything that will uh, bless you like seeing children uh, and young people working in the church and uh, doing the Christmas plays and so forth uh, all pertaining to the real reason for Christmas. And uh, it's always been, always been a good thing and uh, I'm sure if you was ever in a play at uh, church or at school, you remembered that. And uh, so uh, I, I hope that you can get, go to church uh, this weekend and, and uh, or whenever they have church. All right, we have some prayer requests in and appreciate those that are calling and Dottie and they've been up there praying for a lot of them on the phone. Here's a mother her son is on drugs, and she wants to pray for him and pray for the family and uh, wants the Lord to move on the drug dealers. And, well, if they got saved, they would definitely quit that business and stop destroying uh, the ones that are buying from them. From Irvin, Marie Hall is um, 93 years of age, and she wants a song dedicated to her. So, um, Marie Hall, in the morning now, if you want to get up and listen at 6 o'clock to all of the uh, singing, why well, then you can know those songs are for you also. And happy birthday there on 93 years of age. Uh, from Wolf County, Barbara is very sick, and, but she said the singers were great tonight. Uh, from McGolfin County, uh, Mrs. Russell is on the 23rd of this month. She's going to be 91 years of age, so happy birthday in advance. I don't know about these people who have birthdays in December right close to Christmas. You either get cheated out of a birthday present or a Christmas one because, um, anyway, I'm sure you can figure out maybe buy two presents. Um, here's a compliment for the singers. Said they did a great job. Um, and here's a prayer request for a couple that adult uh, child is going from God and, and is in a lot of trouble and uh, just really needs, uh, needs prayer, the whole family. You know, you can't, you, regardless of how you live your life, you're going to affect those around you. Uh, we do not live to ourselves, we don't die to ourselves. And so, 
if, if you choose to be selfish and just do what you want to do, you're going to hurt and affect a lot of people. And if you choose to live for the Lord and be full of prayers and do the good things, that's going to affect those around you also. So regardless of how you live, it's going to have a bearing on those around you. And we trust that you've chosen the better paths and able to uh, stay with the Lord. From Clay County, Earl has infection, it says, needs a touch from the Lord. From Pine Knot, uh, Andrea has cancer, taking treatments in, uh, in Lexington for about nine weeks. Here's a lady that has many uh, problems, but uh, she knows that the Lord can move on them, and that's what she's depending on. From Bertha County, Mary uh, needs a touch from the Lord. From Richmond, Bertha, uh, family needs uh, help, and they're depending on the Lord for that. Willie, for a nephew, Jacob, um, has a fever and has the flu, and he's only five years of age. And you know, right now they, uh, you hear in the news about how, how bad the flu is becoming and and everything. And so we need to pray every day. And I've got a little plaque on my uh, door back there. Somebody, one of my children brought me, and it said, uh, it says. Uh, Wash your hands and say your prayers because Jesus and germs are everywhere. So, because they're always joking me about using so much hand sanitizer, but um, you do you do try to take care of yourself. Use good judgment, and uh, of course you can't you can't get under a tub and stay there till springtime. So you just do a lot of praying and do what you can to stay well and. And they're saying, wash your hands as often as you can. And I'm a firm believer in that. All right, from London, Judy, she's 80 uh, years of age and is having heart problems. Uh, Betty from Jackson for um, a young man's family. Uh, the young man has passed away. And, uh, and she also needed prayer that... Uh, something will work out to where she can get the medicine that uh, the doctors have prescribed for her. From London, Gary has uh, sound like uh, sore throat and back problems and so forth. A lady just needs prayer, it says, from uh, Knox County for someone that's in pain with their shoulder. Here's another prayer request for a son that's in jail and Again, they want the Lord to do something to deliver, and we we agree with you. From Jasmine County, Ms. Loudon needs prayer. And this one says, Pam has cancer. Uh, the coal miners from Perry County, that's from the Campbell family. And uh, from Lincoln County, Julie needs a touch from the Lord. And also from Powell County for... Uh, the Crawford family said they've had a bad car accident and is in UK hospital. From Wayne, uh, from Lincoln County, from for Delmer that's broken an ankle and needs a healing. For uh, this one is from Georgie, from Morgan County has two holes in her heart and needs prayer, <clears throat> needs healing. Uh, Linda having breathing problems for several days. Uh, from Lee and Breathitt County. There's, uh, there's each of these that's been named. Uh, they're sick and taking treatments all at one time. And okay, another one from Powell County. She needs a lift in prayer also. She had surgery, has to have surgery, and her children need prayer. Singers are doing a wonderful job. Uh, from Garrett, uh, the Moore family has called. Um, Ellen has been sick for two weeks from Pike County. Wanda for Freddie that needs a touch from the Lord. See, uh, so many that we know uh, needs a touch from the Lord. And so can we believe for that tonight? If, regardless of what your needs are, especially for these uh, family members that their adult children are going their own way and causing so much heartache we need to pray for the lord to bring them back in and deliver in situations like this 
All right, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because we know you answer prayer. We know you hear prayers and that you answer according to your will and according to the needs. And so, Father, for all of these sick people, the ones that are in the hospital, the car accidents, open heart surgeries and things, Lord, you know what the needs are. And, and all we can do is bring them to you and ask you, like you've told us, you've instructed us to come to you until the needs are met. And so, Father, we intercede for these people that have called tonight. We ask for your will to be done, save and deliver uh, the ones that are on drugs, the ones that uh, needs their medicine or whatever, whatever they need, Lord. We pray that you would touch the sickness and help them to know that you do care about what's going on with them. And most of all, Father, we pray for a hedge of protection around our loved ones that they will not be taken out unprepared. And so, Father, give healing and strength where it is needed. And bless all the churches tomorrow as they have their uh, special services and as they honor you, Lord, as they lift you up and honor whose birthday it is, we ask for a special blessing on all the pastors and the congregations and we know you're going, If when your word is presented, we know you're there to watch over it. And so we thank you for that. Pray that you'll bless each person that has been with us tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. We uh, want to uh, mention that this year we, will, we have decided not to have watch night service. Uh, we will, uh, on the 27th of this month, uh, Brother Fred Finley will be here to um, lead us in a special service like that we always have on watch night service, but uh, this year we've decided to do it this way, and so that way all of you can go to your own uh, home churches for watch night and fellowship with those you've worked with all, all year long. So there's a lot of good opportunities to witness for the Lord. Well, our time is come and gone, so from all of us, we want to say good night, and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope you get a blessing every time you watch. This program is available for download on your computer or mobile device at www.wljc.com. WLJC is now available on Roku and Google TV. DVD copies of this program are also available for your contribution of $15 or more. The WLJC programs, including the Hour of Harvest, are brought to you through your contributions of support. All contributions made to WLJC are eligible for income tax deduction. Thanks to all who support us. Without you, our programming would not be possible. If you would like to join our mailing list to receive our free monthly newsletter to keep you informed about what is happening at WLJC, along with our monthly musical guest schedule, call 606 464-3600 or write to WLJC P.O. Box Y Beattyville, Kentucky 41311 Want to hear from us faster? Join our email mailing list. You can sign up at WLJC.com It's easy and it's free. May God bless you.